So this is the last video on our mini series to get started with Clerk. And in this video, we're going to talk about protecting specific routes in Next.js using the Clerk middleware. But before we do that, I want to mention a security vulnerability and a patch release in Next.js that was released on March 21st, three days prior to the recording of this video, which is around using middleware. So currently, it is possible to skip running the middleware, which is supposed to run before any request is returned to the user which can bypass critical checks like auth and authorization. So if you're using middleware in Next.js for authentication, please update your Next.js version and clerk to the latest versions for Next.js 15.2.3 to avoid this or to get this security patch. Now, by default, the clerk middleware is not going to protect any routes, which means all routes are public and you need to opt in if you need to protect a specific route. And we're going to do that using the create route matcher function, which is going to accept an array of routes and give you a function back, which you can call with the request object to decide if the incoming request actually belongs to any of these routes. For example, here, we're protecting against anything that is inside of our dashboard pages. Now, once we have this function, for example, we can use the auth.protect to automatically protect against that route and redirect to the sign-in. So here, I'm calling this is protected route, passing the request object. And if we are inside of a protected route, we're going to call the protect function on the auth, which is now a property of the auth object instead of a return value from it. So a slight change from the previous versions of clerk to have in mind. Now, the second way to do it instead of calling the protect is this way. So if you want more granular control you can just call the auth object await it get the user id and the redirect to sign in back if there is no user id so the user is not logged in and you are on a protected route by using that function you can do whatever you want before redirecting to sign in okay so let's actually implement this inside of our apps go back to my middleware close this up and so inside of our clerk middleware now we're passing in a function this function takes in the auth object and the request object and we are waiting the auth calling protect on any route that it is inside of this um, route matter that we created up there. So if I save this now and go back to my application, if I go to my dashboard, not reports, but let's say to dashboard page, it is going to redirect me to the sign-in page. By the way, I just created this dashboard page, which is basically a simple page just saying the dashboard. But because the middleware ran and it is inside of our protected pages, we need to sign in. So if I go ahead and sign in, I'm redirected back to the dashboard page. Now in the next mini series for Clerk, I'm going to talk about more advanced stuff, tips and tricks and features you didn't know existed in Clerk or things that makes your job as a developer easier. So stay tuned for that. Bye-bye.